Hey guys, this is Blueset. How's it going? Welcome to episode 34 of my Let's Play series here on the Datacraft server. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we are putting in the much needed uh, component for this, the trap doors. Now, I'm not awfully too concerned about trap doors. Besides, I got a, wood, a tree farm, in a sense, or tree grove right next door to my base you know the dark or the deep forest as is supposed to be called now we're putting in all the trap doors because even closed mobs will think this is a full block not a partial block so they will actually walk off this now, the water system is going to be a simple carry-off system. Some people says, oh, put ice underneath the entire thing. Or at least, uh, packed ice. Actually, that's not what I'm going to be going for. For some of you, you're probably saying, why are you not going to go for that? And I can understand that. The reason I'm not going to go for it is because I have no relative benefit for it. Sure, it moves in faster. Okay, granted. Yeah, a bit of a lag on my end. But there's, again, no real relative use for it on my process of it. No, oh, I'm still going to need that in. So, in much sense, I find very little use for such a thing. Trust me, it's my computer that's lagging, making a bit of a jitter, not the server itself. Oops, I needed that. Now, I can understand people are saying, Blue Set, you should use, you know, the trapdoors to your advantage. Use it for uh, getting the monsters through. Well, not not trapdoors. I'm still on the thought process of trapdoors. Blimey. Anyways, um, well, yeah, I should, but again, I don't see a reason why I should. Sure, it moves in faster, granted, but that's not going to get the uh, pigmen off the platforms faster, and that's a literal fact. I got to be convinced that I can get the pigment off the platform fast. If I can't do that, then what's the point? Hmm. So, I'm starting to get annoyed with the uh, stuttering going on. But it's still fine. You know, you had said you are going to want to help me on my obsidian mining, and all you done is dug five obsidian, took off of my bucket, didn't even put the water back into it if you did uh, donate it back, Quite frankly, I can't trust you with any work because you've yet to prove that you can handle the job and finish the task. Sorry, web buddy. You're not going to be helping me on this one. Hmm. Still getting a bit of jitters on my end. Now, I do plan on, 
using just a water basin and putting off into a corner and moving them off. But I want to reevaluate the design. I still want to use it. It's still a valid uh, system to go with. Just what system should I go for? That's the main point I'm trying to come across. Oh, that's where the ladder is. Okay, right. Now, the, the kill system is going to be using a... I'm going to just say... The kill system will be using... a cactus uh, squishifier system basically it will use the cactus even just standing here the frames jitter hmm something's happening on my computer but I can't do anything right now because I have work to be done Probably all this uh, trap doors, which makes no sense. Now, that's pretty much what I'm going to go with. Now, I do want to have a bit of a sorter system with a light indicator saying how full the uh, chests are. Now, since this is going to be public use, I'm not thinking it's going to be filled up that fast. Let alone kept full for so long. So I'm probably thinking, ooh, probably I don't know. I'm thinking probably just five chests in total. Hmm. Yeah, five chests for the indicator by about, I would think, two. Yeah, that sounds about right. I would say two. then now we're down here let me go ahead I still got wood on me um let me go ahead and grab some glass I got a ton uh, not exaggerating a ton of glass okay yeah getting down from there is making the lag better that's good all right I got a ton of glass and I do plan on something I looked it up on how to actually make it a farm efficient instead of actually having the pigmen choose to be able to go both sides of a very large uh, dome area or not dome of your workspace area they suggest having there's my glass just the uh, I would say Oh, the outer rim area B. Actually, I still need scaffolding. Now that I think of it. So, yeah, the outer part of the portal would actually have the glass or whatever material you'll be using on the outside. That way, you can actually go about and force the pigment to go inside and down now for here on the inner parts I just left that open as part of the whole thing trying to push it into the 80 percent but as far as I know this is probably close as I'm gonna get for being very close to it All right. 
Okay, here I can put the glass in because this is where the uh, glass will be. Because I'm just going to use basic glass. I'm not going to use stone or whatnot because I just want glass for this and rest of this project. You know, like a other famous YouTuber who I'm on his server. You know, data, dataless. You know him <laughs> how much more basic can I say him all right his server oh dang it I sp this lag is really starting to tick me off. Oh my god. I swear, I am going to kill somebody. Alright, I think it's all the trapdoors, so... I'm not sure. Now, uh, I'm going to check out something real quick. Be right back. Alrighty, I took over a look over a few things, and it turns out it's just my computer trying to handle fraps, which is not good. Considering that it handled fraps uh, to begin with. But, oh well. Well, that was completely um, random. Anyways, so I'm just in the process of actually getting the glass in. And of course, as you all know, I'm having frames issue. Well, that frames issue has been roughly taken care of. Roughly. Not really sure, but it's been roughly taken care of. I wouldn't really worry about people. But oh well. It just turns out that Sometimes even an epic build and thought can make a computer lag out of fear. Okay, it's not as epic as Data's build. Good God. I just saw his build for the gold farm that he's going to be doing. Or has done in this case. All I gotta say is, wow. And of course then I'm reminded about his old uh, build on his old Let's Play series. That by itself is epic. Considering that this is actually a very smaller version, you have to understand, if I could go taller, I could. So the height I'm actually limited on is really based on the fact that that's how big portals can get. That is the actual height limit you can build a portal. And get away with it. No. Oh, uh, you need a torch. Okay. So, yeah. I think eventually, if I were to get high enough, instead of... What the... Instead of rain, it would actually be snow. If I was even more over that way, yeah, it would actually start to turn to snow. And that would have be a problem. But it's a good thing I'm doing this anyways, because the odds are, after a certain height, depending on the biome, you will get snow. Mountains are more common to actually get snow in the game anyways. So, yeah. I mean, look at that. Look at my base. It looks like a ball. And that's actually probably the point. But look at this thing. This thing is a rectangle. A giant rectangle. That's going to be filled with purpley goodness of goldly gooden monsters. Oh, and that person died. That joke is old. In fact, I don't think that joke has any relevance right now. Oh well. Anyways, at least he's trying. 
And that's the whole point about trial and error. 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 Eh, whatever. Yeah. So, how am I going to cap this? Well, simple. I'm just going to have it straight across. That's it. Straight across. Now, eventually, I am going to get the uh, materials needed to light up this puppy. And I do mean it. Light up this puppy. Big time. A stack of gold ingots. Oh, I would, but... Eh, I'm not really looking forward to that, because guess what? I'm making a gold farm. And I can mine out pretty much a close to a stack. About, I would say, half a stack if I get lucky. Uh, an hour. In my mines. So, yeah. I mean, gold is not as common as diamonds. Oh well. Well, ooh, I'm almost at the top, but I got so much to go. So tell you what, guys, instead of boring you of just doing the same thing over and over, this ain't a live stream, and over again, I'm going to jump cut to the next point in this once I get all of this taken care of. Be right back. Alrighty. I am back, and I just freshly just got onto the server, and yeah, everything is done. The roof is done, the sides are done, the chunks are loading because I was a derp, but hey, everything is done, so let's go ahead and hop down, Wee. Uh oh And yeah, this area is pretty much done. All we gotta do now is put in the water sources. Oh wait, no, we can't do that just yet. Oh no, we can't. I need to have a area that I can actually rely on for for maintenance areas. Which also reminds me, I need to take down the scaffolding I have uh, put up. Yeah, lag. I swear, I need a better computer, better hardware. All right. Oh, come on. And right, I think we are done up here. I can close that back down. Get rid of the scaffolding up here and pretty much continue with the next project. Okay, the next part we're going to be doing is setting up the water channels. This is going to be no different than any other mob farm that you may or may not have done. Basically, I'm going to add in 8 until pretty much we are at the end. So let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's go ahead and fill that across because... Oh wow, that matches exactly where this is. This will be the length of the design here. Nothing too fancy, just something that will work. Now, judging from this, another eight, and that will be 
completely filled in. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to stop at 7 and have a drop area. That drop area will go down by 2. Yes, 2 and then follow by a... I'm going to have to say... Hmm. Oh, just thinking on the top of my head, a... can't think right now, jeez. Because of this stupid lag I'm trying to deal with, I don't want to be breaking glass, ruining glass and whatnot. Jeez. I mean, it's just, it's not the server's fault, it's just my computer. I think it's just trying to compensate for something. I don't know what's happening. Hey, hey, come on. Alright, there we go. Oh, damn it. There we go. Oh, because this is the only thing actually that could be taken care of. There we go. Now looking at this, um, there has to be something over here I can use. Mm. Oh, I know. Scaffolding. No, wait, damn it. Right. Uh, a lot easier if I go down here and do it this way. Scaffolding for the win. That's all I'm going to say. Because this will be low enough for me to actually reach under here and just start that off. Right. And of course, let me do the same thing over here, because yeah, I've yet to reach over there. Tell you what, this is practically the boring part, at least I would call it the boring part. Because this is just the point of where I'm actually trying to implement what I've actually said. But yeah, Ever 8 is going to be a water source, except for number um, the number seven portion because that will be for the um, just thinking on top of my head and can't yeah I need to disable chat one of these days but whatever but yeah well, of course we're going to be over here hmm Actually, this will be a great maintenance access area because it's right here, right where I can actually get to it. In fact, all I got to do is just remove this little ladder and there you go. I have access because then when I'm up here, the water will be pushing me over this way, which, if I don't hit the space button, I can actually just fall through. 
See, walk, walk, walk. Walking against the current. Ugh. See, because I'll be doing that, and it'll push me over that way, and I can actually walk down. Yes, that will work. I was thinking of how to implement that, and that works very well. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay, this is seven. All right, good. I'm stopping right there. That's the limit I want to be in. Yes, this actually will work. What was that? Now, the things I need to be able to do, I forgot to actually extend it over this way to um, get a hold of the rest, is to go through and get a hold of the... I'm going to have to say... Yeah, get a good about good amount of signs. I'm gonna need signs for this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need signs because I need to stop the water flow from going through. It's gonna be a two block drop. There we go. Hoo hoo hoo. Yay. Alright. Yes, a two block drop for the destination. I don't have that much glass left in my inventory. Well, good thing I have a bunch more in the. remaining portion of the chest. In fact, let me go ahead and put in the drop here. Boop, 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 boop. Um, keep going this way. Alrighty, there we go. That's first block because there's a sign that'll stop water. First block, here's the second block. And this is the the tunnel. Okay, good. Want to have that. And I'll go over that way, deal with that. All right, I can remove this. I know lots of scaffolding will be used, but hey, tell you what, let me go ahead and work on the rest of the things I need to do. You know, drop channels and water channels a bit more off camera, and I will be right back. Alrighty. I thought about a few things to actually finish up this episode, and I got it in my hands. Signs. Now, let me just be a bit more specific about this. The signs is needed to actually prevent the water from flowing down into a certain area I want to be able to make sure of. Now, with this, I can easily control the water flow without a problem. And for a lot of things, I don't have to worry about... Um, certain issues that would arise in. And look at that. I decided to, well, let me hop off of this and uh, show you. Proper. There we go. I decided to actually make a double channel here flowing down. And if any pigment were to get over here, it would just go down to a drop shoot. Not really far. But it'll be pushed down over here to a uh, killing p uh, position. Of course. There's a sign here. It will allow the person to actually try, in a sense, to walk over and do that. Now then, to add the signs here wouldn't take much. 
Because this fills in the block, it prevents uh, water from actually flowing down into it. Well, derp. Anyways, and pretty much guarantees that no water source or flowing water will actually go through it. Now then, for the next part, since this is just a two wide here, I'm thinking of just putting it here and here, so that way when water actually does flow, it's not going to actually interfere. It makes it perfect. I do hate the uh, even number system. It just bothers me quite a lot, actually. And to top off this video, I am actually going to put in the water. At least for the areas here. I know I said to some people, don't do that yet, I'm not ready for it. Well, now I am. So yeah. And of course, being a derp, I forgot the water buckets. Yeah. No, horse, what are you doing? Okay, you're going to be fine. Alrighty, I got the water bo uh, buckets, and yes, Web Buddy took my bucket, claiming that he actually put it back in that donation chest. I got video proof. It's not there. And I have one less bucket. I am not amused. Alrighty, let's go that way. Yep, this is how we fill in the water. The f water line. Yep, ain't nothing wrong with this. And just a precautionary. Test that out. Good. Okay, good. They both end there. Alright. And moment of truth. Wow, that's a bit far. Yes, alrighty, that does work. Alrighty, and the water system is flowing. It makes this area dark, and yes. And of course, that does work exactly as planned, too. Alrighty. Well, that works. And I hate to say it, folks, but this ends this episode. Well, thank you for watching episode 35 of my Let's Play series here on the Datacraft server. Go ahead and join me for episode 36 as I go about and add some structure to this. Probably stairs. Definitely stairs. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.